course we're striving for better. Of course we're striving to be 1% better every day, but not at the detriment of us beating ourselves up about it. Do you know what I mean? That's not what life should be about either. Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to another video. This time, including a delicious cup of tea and the most sublime sandwich in the world. So I just wanted us to have a little chat over lunch, to be honest. And I wanted to remind you what a freaking superstar you are, what an incredible warrior you are, how much you've grown through, how good enough you already are. And yeah, I thought we could just chat about it over lunch. Sound good? So this sandwich is a vegetarian friendly sandwich. It contains it's wholemeal bread, mayonnaise, mature cheddar, tomato, spinach, and a fried egg. Try it and prepare for your mind to be blown. If you want it to be even more mind blowing, add avocado to it. Mm. So good. Recently I've received some truly beautiful messages, really heartwarming messages from some of you who have been telling me things like how you're going through a really difficult time right now and there's a lot in your life that feels like a struggle and that you're watching my videos, you're tuning into this channel as a source of positivity, as a source of love, light, hope, motivation, inspiration. So I really appreciate you and I'm really glad that my videos can help somehow and yeah, it's just the most heartwarming, heartwarming, heartwarming and rewarding <laughs> thing to hear that. And I really mean that. So thank you so much. I am blessed to have attracted such incredible, beautiful people into my audience on YouTube. Those of you who remember know that one of the things I wrote on my scripting letter is that my videos are going viral to a positive and supportive audience of people. And I also wrote on my scripting letter that I am constantly attracting positive, open-minded, uh, driven, supportive people into my life, whether it's friends or who wanna build my businesses with me, who wanna join my team. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you are <laughs> You are my manifestation. I manifested you, you manifested me, and that's amazing. That's really, really beautiful. And I invite you, if you're looking to, if you're looking to be surrounded by more positivity in your life, if you haven't done so already, talk about it, affirm it, write it down, script about it, read that scripting letter to yourself, say it out loud to yourself in the mirror, say it as soon as you wake up, say it as soon as you go to bed, like, talk it into existence. Think it into existence. And I know that sometimes we can say it once, but then the rest of our thoughts for the rest of the day are focused on the people in our life who are upsetting us because it's often very distracting. Life can be very distracting. You know, you're there trying to focus on what you want and then there's all of this stuff that you don't want reminding you or, 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 or dragging you back. If you're not perfect at this, keep going and don't beat yourself up about it. I'm not perfect at this either. I have days where it's easier to be positive and days where it's a lot harder to be positive. I have days where I wake up and my morning routine is squeaky clean and perfection. And I have other days where I'm like, oh my God, come on, Lucy, what are you doing? You've stayed in bed for too long. You've scrolled through Instagram for too long. This is not good for you. But then that voice in my head isn't good for me either, right? That voice where it's like naughty, naughty, you know, so. Being kind to myself is my new, my new practice. And I invite you as well to be kind to yourself too. It can be something that we practice together where of course we're striving for better. Of course we're striving to be 1% better every day, but not at the detriment of us beating ourselves up about it. Do you know what I mean? That's not what life should be about either. And by the way, I had a lovely phone call with one of my team yesterday. And she said to me, I know, I just, I'm so lazy. I have no discipline, you know, I'm never good at doing these things. I, I always say I'm gonna do something 
but I'm just such a lazy person. And I said, did your mother ever say that to you? Because you sound exactly like, I've not, I've not met your mother, but you sound like your mother. She was like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what my mother used to say to me. And she was like, maybe that's the reason why I am the way I am. And I was like, let's not blame your mom. Let's not blame you either. But maybe let's just stop telling ourselves that story because your subconscious mind is following whatever you're telling it that you are. If you're telling your subconscious mind, I'm so lazy, I'm so this, I'm so that, and the subconscious mind goes, okay. You know, and then when you wanna try and be productive, your subconscious mind obviously gets in the way and says, no, we're a lazy person. We don't have any discipline. People like us don't achieve things like that. Why? Because that's what we've been telling ourselves. So if you ever find that you're trying really hard to break an old habit, trying really hard to, to implement a new pattern in your life, but you find yourself more than anything else getting in your way, or there's always something that distracts you or takes you away from it. And I've been there too, by the way, I'm not perfect at this yet either. One thing I do know is that when we're telling ourselves how bad we are at stuff, it sure as hell is not helping and if anything you know why don't we apply the laws of the law of attraction the principles of the law of attraction it's not just about how can i focus on this to attract my soulmate how can i focus on this to manifest more money it's all about the micro moment by moment things that we do behaviors that we choose things that we do on default that add up to those bigger manifestations that we might be after we could even look at, you know, if I tell myself a new story, it's not just so that I, you know, uh, manifest something huge, it's, it, but it is. Those small things do help you to manifest the big things. Does that make sense? So, you know, I am a powerful woman. I am amazing at what I do. And I'm telling myself this because sometimes my brain does not say this. So I'm making the effort to consciously say it. So say it with me now. What, what, what's a kind thing you could say to yourself? It's so all well and good watching me say it. How about you? Go on, say something to yourself now that's encouraging. Start the sentence with, I am. I'm going to have a bite of my sandwich. And you say a few encouraging things to yourself. Good, keep going. Mm. Nice. Mm -mm. So remember, the more we get frustrated about how stuck we are, the more we're focusing and telling our brain that we are frustrated for being stuck. And the more future things will unfold in the same way. Whereas if we can think it and talk it before we see the results. If we can already talking, be talking about how proud we are of ourselves before we've done anything to make ourselves proud. If we can already be encouraging ourselves and, tell, and reminding ourselves that we're actually amazing, we're awesome, we're highly productive, um, you know, we finish what we start, um, we, we, we don't procrastinate, we do things efficiently, we do things when we say we're gonna do them, we are, you know, any of these things, we're productive, we're successful, um, you know, everyone wants to work with us, everyone wants to love us, everyone wants to be with us, but maybe more specifically positive, supportive, loving, you know, amazing people want to be with us. You know, the more that you say that stuff, it might seem like, does this really work? But let me tell you, our brains are probably saying the opposite to ourselves right now as default settings, most people. Either our mind is in control of us or we become in control of our mind, which helps us become in control of our life. So, thank you for joining me for lunch. It's been really nice spending some time with you. You've got this. Give this video a thumbs up if it cheered you up in any way. Remember, if you haven't done so already, to hit that subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss another video. Until next time, guys. Bye.